Lake Champlain is the sixth largest body of fresh water in the United States. Its nearly 600 miles of shoreline is bordered by Vermont to the east and New York to the west. The deepest and widest section of the lake is the home of Burlington Harbor and the University of Vermont's Rubenstein Ecosystem Science Laboratory. Jason Stockwell, director of the lab, is doing research with UVM senior biology student Molly Morrissey on the vertical migration of mysis shrimp and has invited us to join them on a sampling trip. Mysis shrimp is a glacial invertebrate inhabiting Lake Champlain since the end of the last glacier period over 10,000 years ago. In, in aquatic systems, both marine and freshwater, there's this phenomenon that's called dio vertical migration where a lot of the uh, organisms will, will be down deep during the day and rise up in the evening and feed at night um, and then go back down during the day. And, and the, the thought is that they're, they're going down deep to hide from visual predators who can see them easier in the surface waters. So they can feed on things up at the surface, but they can also feed on things down deep. And so the question is, well, why are they undergoing this, this vertical migration? And so the, the research we're doing is trying to get at these mechanisms of what's controlling that behavior. On an unseasonably warm and cloudy mid-November afternoon, we board the Melisira, UVM's 45-foot research vessel. Molly Morrissey's a fourth-year student. She's in biology. Um, and she's doing, she wanted to do research experience, get her hands wet, so she's, she's leading the charge on this effort. And Thor Bell is our work study, my work study student for this, this year, and uh, he's been cleaning a lot of bottles, little bottles, but um, slowly we're getting him into more interesting things. Also joining us is Professor Ellen Marston, Interim Director of UVM's Wildlife and Fisheries Biology, and Chelsea Mitchell, UVM third year biology student. The Melisira leaves the dock at Burlington Harbor one and a half hours before sunset. With Captain Bill Lowell at the helm. This is our electronic navigation program and it feeds us information from our GPS. And we're going out into about 100 meters of water. Yeah, cool. And right now we're navigating with the autopilot. The work that we're doing is pilot work. We're trying to explore whether we can use enzymes, metabolic enzymes in mysis to, uh, to serve as a proxy for their activity, for their migration. So we were collecting animals down deep before sunset when they're all down there, and then collecting them up high after sunset and we're going to compare their enzymatic levels between those two time periods and, and the hypothesis Molly is testing is uh, are the enzyme levels in these mice that are up high after sunset greater than the enzyme levels that are down in the mice during the day when they're on the bottom. The first mice sampling at the bottom of the lake is conducted 45 minutes before sunset. We use something that's called the closing net and basically has a trigger mechanism where you lower, lower the, the net down to the bottom, you start raising it and you send a trigger down the wire and it trips a mechanism which collapses the net on itself and then you haul it up and so you're not sampling throughout the whole water column. first sampling at the bottom of the lake with the closing net, we wait until just after sunset for the second sampling. We wanted to catch the, the mysis up high in the water column for that comparison, and so we use what's called a tucker trawl, and it's basically a rectangular mouth opening with a, a fairly fine mesh net on it, and we, we just tow it along behind the boat at a certain depth 
and basically picking up mice just like like a trawler would of fish and then bring that aboard. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> now you're joking. So we don't know where we found them. On board, we we pick through the sample, and and we're looking at two different sizes of mice, big and small. We put them into a vial and put them on dry ice right away to to, to quickly freeze them to lock in the enzymatic activities, and then um, we'll bring those into the lab and do the the enzyme analysis on that. After two more Tucker trawl samplings at the surface and one more closing net sampling at the bottom of the lake, we return home to Burlington Harbor four hours after sunset. Oh, did you enjoy that? Yeah, that's great. Phenomenal. Yeah. One of the things I really enjoy about science is is teaching it to, to students in one-on-one -on -one situations and and seeing the excitement on their face and having students say, "This is the coolest thing I've ever done." <laughs>